Hey guys, Tim here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about establishing um, community relations. And it's a really good skill to have. I wanted to give you a few examples of what I do. Um, I, I truck, and I truck um, Oregon, uh, California, Washington, Nevada, Idaho, and I'm all over Montana and Wyoming and different places. Anyway, on my routes, I end up making friends with customers, and I go out of my way to help them out. And uh, and they do a lot for me, too. And here in the community that I live in also, I do the same thing. <clears throat> I wanted to give you a few examples. Uh, over here I have a, a pretty good stash of firewood back here that I have tarped. And uh, it's all mismatched, and none of it's the same because I've gotten it from different people for doing different jobs or helping different people out and bartering here in this area. These wine barrels here that I have, uh, I did a, uh, I did some business with a uh, customer that owns a winery, and uh, and here's here's the barrel setup I have. Basically, I got this whole setup uh, from a customer who traded me these uh, wine barrels for pallets, and then another customer taught me how to do the hydroponic setup and then another another customer hooked me up with the plants and then another customer helped me out with uh, the fish so yeah I've got a whole setup here and I've got another customer who set me up with these banana plants and another customer who set me up with a lot of these fruit bearing these are several customers here and different friends uh, that live in this area and I speak Spanish, so that's helped me out with uh, finding different exotic uh, things that I planted, like that uh, Aztec corn that's uh, approximately 9 feet tall right now. It'll reach a total of about 12 feet high. And I planted uh, some, some uh, South American lentils and beans in here. They got astronomically huge. And uh, all of these different things... I have gotten from different people. Yeah, so other people need ammunition. They can't get it. I know who to talk to. I've got friends. Uh, I don't have a problem getting anything I need. Um, I don't have a problem finding out secrets that I need for growing. And originally, I knew nothing about these things. Um, if I have a question on mechanics or getting a car fixed, I've got friends for that. And uh, basically, that's what this video I'm going to do is about is about how how to establish those friendships and kind of take you on a tour of the area and the different things that I do and uh and really there is no limits or, uh to the to the people you can get to know and the things you can accomplish Hey guys, Tim here. I'm visiting Lewis Peter, local artist, and uh, I'm handing him a bear skull. This is a bear that I, I had uh, gotten, I think, uh, 14 years ago. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to ask him to do some, some kind of artwork real similar to this, and uh, so we'll videotape picking it up and this is some of your work here huh? yep very cool oh i'm excited it's gonna be fun i'm a street artist and so i do uh all kinds of neat stuff uh these are ostrich eggs taken out and come over to 23 chicken eggs to make a huge omelet for you <laughs> so this is some of my street art so what i do is on the on the street so performing live for it and this stuff right here is stuff for my sketchbook all done in wax and um, acrylics and egg tempura. On, a lot of it's on barn board. So I like the character of the barn board, so I try to do as least amount of cleanup work as I can on it and make it look still cool. It looks, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> smells like roses. We got a little sign over here. That's our challenge to everybody. <laughs> what is that? Oh! <laughs> this is of a cheap red cloud, and it's done in enamels, some acrylics, um, some washes, and oils. Mm -hmm. 
and this is uh, entitled um, Secret to a Happy Marriage. And you just see the symbols for stuff that the husband and wife can do to, to make things happy. Provide a good home, happiness, hunting, babies, rain, peacefulness. sound like good ingredients for a marriage. What are the little guys? Quail. Oh, well those are no, big. I don't know what, I want to eat. Look here. You want a quail egg? Your head scratched on. I want to scratch one. <laughs> <laughs> Off grid spring there. We're 22 feet 4 inches. When we get to here, we get that down about there, then we'll put this pipe on and then we'll put it down about two more feet. I think it came up. <laughs> it marks it, we gain it. It feels like it's going the opposite direction. I want me to beat on something else. Right, so when we get done, we'll have the pipe sticking up about this far. So we got about four feet left to go. Hopefully there's water on the end of the feet measure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got water. All right. <laughs> Nathan? Huh? I want to tell you something. What? You make sure to listen to me. Don't listen to your dad. <laughs> okay. No, your daddy's a good man. We really appreciate you and Kim and Tim and Cosette. You guys are just awesome. You say thank you? <laughs> you can see me. Okay, here's our paycheck. <laughs> and here are a few of those juicy plums. All right, here's some of my wood here that I've got for winter. It isn't quite enough, but all this wood was given to me for different jobs and favors I've done for neighbors by different neighbors. So that's why it all looks so different, but but it's a good start.